Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Pretty nice show in the Coliseum. You sure were impressive, Mr. Hero. I don't know. You think so? I think we can do better than that. No kidding. Maybe he just had weak opponents. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. It was just a fluke, okay? Hey, don't get smart with us. We know your little secret. That's sort of yours. It's not often you see a treasure like that. A blade like that with that kind of power. <laughs> I'm impressed. Heh, <laughs> anybody could have won with a sword like that, huh? <laughs> why don't you get to the point? Yeah, why don't we? How about you hand that thing over? Just set it down and walk away. Unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> I get it. Plain old goons after my sword, huh? I guess they didn't notice the attacks I was using in the Colosseum. I didn't win that fight with the sword alone. These guys are the same. Lusting for power beyond their means. Exactly the same. I knew it. Our very existence on an underdeveloped planet is dangerous interference. Look, this sword isn't nearly as powerful as you think. It's like a toy compared to antimatter. What? But I won't hand it over to someone who doesn't properly respect it. Got that? Quit your babbling and give it over. Yeah. Ugh. You little bastard! Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Who needs to pull a sword against a bunch of rank amateurs anyway? You little... Alright, that's it. You're gonna die, man! Fighting off all three isn't going to be easy. Looks like I'm not getting out of this scot-free. Well, well. Fate connects us, boy. You... you're... Muria Tionesis. Not that you need remember, of course. Ah, uh, no. Thank you very much, Muria. This is the second time you've saved me. I don't know about the Cardianon, but you don't seem like the sort that would have trouble with mere hooligans. Well, I, uh... But that's beside the point. There's something I've been wanting to ask you, boy. I never imagined I'd run into you here, of all places. What luck. Um, and what is it you want to ask me? I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone? Yes. And I thought you might have some idea of where I might find him. The man I seek was on a ship that looks much like yours. What? As I recall, he wore clothes much like yours as well. Oh. I believe he's an Earthling, just like you. An Earthling with red hair. What? And I tell you this, boy, he will die by my hand. Crow? Wh why would you want to... Oh? So it's Crow, is it? The name of the man I'm going to kill. Tell me, boy. Where can I find him? I don't know. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Hmm. Your eyes were so lifeless when you fought those thugs. Who would have guessed they could show such fire? But I honestly wonder. Would you still look at me that way if you knew what the red-haired man did to me? What did he... What did Crow do to you? He... He killed my beloved. That wretched man destroyed my life. Nonsense. <sighs> what makes you so sure, boy? Because Crow's my best friend. Look, I may not be able to believe in myself right now, but I still believe in Crow. <sighs> Crow would never do anything to hurt anyone! He's incapable of it! I don't understand you. 
You believe in that man more than you believe in yourself? What are you saying? <sighs> Not just him. All of my friends. Right now, they're all I have to believe in. No matter what you say, boy, I can only believe what I've seen with my own eyes. I despise the red-haired man, and I will exact my revenge on him. Muria! Once my business on this planet is finished, I think I'll have to follow you. If you believe in this man so much, boy, then I have no doubt you'll eventually lead me to him. <clears throat> At this hour? What is it? It's Sarah! She's like, disappeared! Oh, so Sarah's... What?! What in the...? It wasn't me, really! I mean, sure, sometimes I may drool a little, but still... Mary, um... <gasps> How about you, Raimi? Are you feeling better? Yes, I'll be fine. I'm more worried about Sarah right now. Sari... She got kidnapped. Forgive me. I should have had my anti-personnel sensors activated. It's okay. Everyone was tired yesterday. Speaking of everyone, where's FaZe? He's out gathering information. I suspect this involves the men who assaulted Miss Sarah. Bacchus's instincts would seem to be accurate. Did you find something? Yes. The man who found this feather claims to have witnessed several people carrying Sarah away late last night. From his description, the perpetrators sound exactly like the men from last time. What? Raimi has recovered, but final authority now lies with you, Edge. Oh. We have to find Sarah. She's one of us now.
nobody's around. I'm going to look inside the tents. We owe these people so much. The least we could do is say hello. Is anybody here? Huh? <gasps> Memo? Nobody's here, Kay. It appears they've all stepped out. We'll have to bid them a visit another time. That's too bad. I wanted one of those cloaks, too. You look dumb in it, but it would look good on me, Kay. <laughs> you really never stop, do you? Isn't this...? Yes, it would certainly seem to be one of Sarah's feathers. This is consistent with our earlier information. Miss Sarah must be here. Let's split up and see if we can't find any clues.
you think these statues are the ones Sarah was talking about? The Mua? You know, the ones that she said look like you and me? The Mua, huh? The race whose genes we were supposedly implanted with. <sighs> I see. They do indeed evoke your images, in a way. But more than you two, I'd say they resemble... Earthlings in general. That's my impression. How could the Mua have existed on both Earth and Roke so far apart in space? What were they? It's so strange, even though their genes live inside me. Raimi. Hey everyone, come here, okay? Direction. I caught Sarah's scent. But it's a dead end. <sighs> huh. Not gonna be that easy, I guess. This is like so deflating. Well then, what shall we do now? There seems to be little point in remaining here. I wonder if Sarah's even here. <sighs> I know it. I'm positive. Positive she's here. Eureka! What is it, Mary? I just had a revelation. When you're stuck like this, there's only one solution. Ask for help. Ask? Ask who? Who else? Lady Elena and Trump, of course. Lady Elena? You mean Sarah's fortune teller acquaintance? Lady Elena probably knows everything. I mean, seriously, she's a sage, a holy maiden! Isn't that just from some fairy tale you read? Yeah, but come on! Sarah said she was going to see Lady Elena too! She must know something! I want to go too. It sounds fun, Kay? What's the plan, Edge? Let's go. It's better than standing around. What proof do we have this Elena can be trusted? Sarah said it herself. People who've lost their way go to see her. We may not have any proof, but I want to trust Sarah.
What's uh -huh. happening? Is What's something on? wrong? Did something happen? What's he up to, huh? Oh, righteous flock of wandering souls! Give pause and lend me your ears! The advent of our long-awaited hour of salvation is at hand! Yea, he who shall save our wretched, iniquitous souls, the Supreme Being, the Almighty Lord, Asmodeus! His yeah, resurrection, is resurrection is nigh! Is Asmodeus, you people, you can't be... Church of Sydney. The Archfiend cult? Indeed, we are the Church of Sidone. But I ask you, what reason is there for you to be worried? It is Asmodeus who shall deliver this world unto salvation. Asmodeus, the Church of Sidone. Avert your eyes from false peace and witness the truth of this world. If you would do but that, you shall surely begin to see. Your beloved families, friends, and neighbors blighted, becoming as cold stone, trapped within the clutches of darkness and pain oh. forevermore. The remedy that would cure us all is monopolized by the ruling elite and does not reach the hands of the common man. That is unjust! Would you not agree with me? Oh. He has a point. Yes, my friends. This world of ours walks the wrong path. The virtuous and chaste writhe in agony throughout the land, while the wretched and shameless fill the vessels of their desire. But there is one who would consume this miserable world in his flames of purification. Yea, none other than the magnificent Asmodeus. Oh, yes. This Asmodeus oh, might actually be a pretty nice guy. Such a world. W wait, the Archfiend is going to burn down the entire world, right? Wouldn't we burn to death right along with it? Yes. It is precisely as you say. Asmodeus will consume the world with his flames, and we along with it. B but then we'd all die. What good would that be? Indeed, then, shall we not all burn together? What? By accepting Asmodeus as your savior, you shall receive his divine mercy. His destruction of this ugly, wretched world is merely a gateway to the beautiful new one that he will create. Within that new world, Asmodeus' followers, we shall be granted eternal happiness. We must but love the Almighty Lord unconditionally, so that we may be bathed in the light of His divine love in return. The pain of being consumed in His flames of purification will last but an instant, but the happiness granted in His new world will be eternal. I say to you again, eternal! So this is Sidonaism, the cult of the Archfiend. They are clearly not to be taken lightly. He speaks with such conviction. I wouldn't be surprised if he gained a lot of new followers here. Of course, as we all know, everything that comes out of his mouth is absolute nonsense. Indeed. These people have stopped receiving medicine only because shipments of raw materials have been stymied. And we must not forget whoever was behind the Banded Edge defeated, attempting to halt the Remedy's distribution. 
But of course, the Royal Knights are dealing with that matter. And in any event, this Archfiend doesn't exist. Sooner or later, people like him will disappear. Hmm. Something wrong? No, I was just thinking. I was wondering what will happen to his followers when their leader does disappear. It's none of our business. Let's go. Miss Elena, are you home? Sarah recommended we come see you. Maybe she's out. The door's oh. not locked. I'm going in, Kate. I guess that decides it. Let's see what we can find. Well? I'm afraid I was unable to find any trace of Elena, nor any clues as to where she might be. Same here. Me neither. She must be really good at hide and seek. I'd expect no less. Regular people like us can't hope to match her hide and seek skills. <laughs> hmm. Is something burning? Look! <laughs> Someone must have set their house on fire! What? What the? house just a moment ago. <gasps> Someone's coming. I knew you whelps would come. Huh? I knew you were Sarah's friends, and I knew the house would burn down, nearly taking you with it. Uh, uh, we... That's why I prepared a transfer symbol for you wretches. Show some appreciation. Huh? Thank you. Very much. Are you deficient? Show some appreciation. All of you. Oh, uh, of course! Thank you very much! <sighs> very well. You may now rejoice. I am she whom you seek, the one and only Elena Farrance. Come, I don't recall summoning you, but you might get some tea. Uh, wait a minute, please! Are you really the Elena that Sarah was talking? I won't say it again, Stripling. Come. Y yes ma'am! And don't dawdle. So that's Elena, huh? Not quite what I was expecting, after what Sarah said about her. Mary, is something wrong? You don't look too...
too happy, Kay. Oh, I suspect she's just in shock. Elena must not have lived up to Miracle's image of the Holy Maiden. I can hear you. But, Holy Maiden has a nice ring to it. I think I'll start calling myself that. Elena the Holy Maiden. D don't My beautiful bubbles! Stop bursting them! <laughs> Be sparing with your praise. I'm bashful. It's not praise! <laughs> She's a bully, huh? Definitely. Perhaps, but it appears her reputation was not unfounded. She not only knew of our relationship with Sarah and that we were coming to see her, she even predicted the fire. Then I wish she'd saved us a little faster. If I had, you wouldn't know the proper gratitude. I saved your life, and in doing so showed you how precious it is. I believe I ought to be thanked for that, not blamed. This is wrong, all wrong. Lady Elena is supposed to be beautiful and wise and kind. You see? That's me to the letter. <sighs> hey, Elaine, Is your house this way? <laughs> Laney, huh? How amusing. Laney the Holy Maiden. Hmm, that might be even better. I have a hideout up ahead, Ragamuffin. A hideout? There are more after my life than I can count, you see. Here, we've arrived. And you there, Hulk, show yourself already. Huh? So that's what you look like. When did you notice me? Don't underestimate me. Before I even met you, obviously. Whoa. My apologies, Miss Elena. You can wait there. You might fit inside, but your hulking brawn would be a nuisance. As you wish. I shall stand watch here, then. Bacchus, are you sure? It's not a problem. I'll still be able to hear your conversation from here. Stop playing patty cake like halfwits and get inside, you lot. What? Not satisfied with just torching her house. Now you're after her hideout, too. <laughs> the life of a beautiful woman. I tell you. If you're so fond of your precious Archfiend, I'd be more than happy to send you straight to him. So now I have to stop an Archfiend's resurrection, do I? <sighs> Why does Giotto always give me the tedious jobs? Miss Elena, do you really see everything? That voice... Miss Elena... Do you really see everything? Please tell us, is Sarah trapped within the Purgatorium? And if so, can you tell us how to get inside? Don't rush me. Everything in due time. But... <laughs> there are those who secretly threaten this land. I imagine you've heard of them. A rather tawdry group that calls itself the Church of Sidonae. 
They are the ones that kidnapped Sarah. Why would the Archfiend cult do that? They are bona fide idiots. No, worse, imbecilic cretins. Although many heroes gave their lives to defeat the Archfiend, this dogged little cult has continued to worship him for millennia. They've always seduced new converts in secret, but lately, their activities have become increasingly bold. It's almost as if they're being prodded by something, or someone. In ages long past, an archfiend appeared in this land. He was called Asmodeus. The Sidonaists' ultimate goal, of course, is the Archfiend's resurrection. Huh? The Sidonaists lust after my power. They bade me join their church, but I'm sure you can guess what my answer was. Huh? What? You look as if you think I'm talking nonsense. What? No, that's not it at all. I don't find it such a strange tale. After all, you lot sitting before me now. You came to this land across the vast star ocean. What? Huh? <gasps> if you ask me, both are equally nonsensical. Like I warned your hulking friend outside, don't underestimate me. And you learned this through your... fortune-telling? Not exactly fortune-telling. Augury, to be more precise. It's very taxing, but far more accurate, as you lot have just demonstrated. I had foreseen that Sarah would send me intriguing guests. <laughs> You're most intriguing indeed. What's wrong with you? Isn't Sarah supposed to be your friend? Aren't you at all concerned about her? <laughs> Sarah is like a sister to me. Of course I'm concerned. But then, why? I received a message from on high and was waiting. Waiting for you lot to arrive from the stars. You were waiting? For us? Yes. You are the only ones who can save Sarah and prevent the resurrection of the Archfiend. Uh, us? Prevent the resurrection? All of you who stand before me, travelers from across the stars, I tell you once again. You must stop the Archfiend resurrection rituals that preceded the Purgatorium even as we speak. <gasps> the Archfiend must not yet come. It is too soon. Too soon? You speak as if his resurrection is inevitable. Of course it is. What? The Archfiend will indeed be resurrected, but... Not quite yet. When the time comes, a band of warriors will rise up and destroy him. But those warriors are not you. Is that another of your auguries? Indeed. But that's beside the point. What's important now is forestalling the Archfiend's resurrection. And most importantly, you must rescue Sarah. The key to that resurrection. Wait a minute, I, I don't get it. What does Sarah have to do with the Archfiend? His revival requires a sacrifice of holy blood. Sarah is of the sacred Featherfolk, more than worthy to be offered to the Archfiend. Her rescue and the prevention of the Archfiend's resurrection are one and the same. What if we fail? What would happen to this planet? If you fail... <gasps> Miss Elena? Huh? 
she's... The Holy Virgin garbed in white walks upon the path to the altar. Laney, what's going on? The way shall soon be cleared, feathers of purest white stained deepest crimson, scattered upon the winds. The vile archfiend, bade forth from his realm of deepest darkness, <sighs> shall awaken to feast upon the corpse of the Virgin. His coming shall herald the end of days. It's... it's almost like she's a different person. Would this be... an augury? As the world is immersed in flames of ruination, there is no quarter, no escape. All shall be reduced to ash. Thus are all things annihilated in infinite beauty. I figured it would be faster to simply show you. That was an augury of a future in which you fail. Sarah's death brings with it this land's extinction. There is no hope and no compromise. No matter how often I invoke this future, it is always the same. The destruction is inescapable. But if you can manage to save Sarah, perhaps it can be averted. I would like to pin my hopes on that. Uh. Uh. I'm praised as a phenomenal teller of fortunes, but just look at me. My body racked with the pain of auguries, unable to help anyone, unable to save my friend. Please, save the Featherfolk. Save the world. I beg you. Miss Elena. Please, stop. You can't. Please, don't ask me to get involved with the fate of an entire planet. Edge. That's not something I can do! Sarah's one thing, but an entire planet... I... I can't. Not... Not again! Foolish stripling. <gasps> Miss Elena! Are you alright? She's out cold, Kay. Let's go. To the Purgatorium. Phase. Frankly, I have my doubts about this Archfiend resurrection business. But it's clear that Sarah is in grave danger nonetheless. But Elena still isn't showing any signs of waking up. And we don't have any way to get into the Purgatorium either. Then we'll just have to make one. Even if we have to obliterate the entire structure. No way! I'm not going to let you do anything that crazy! Then what would you have us do? Wait. Wait until Elena wakes up. We don't have time for that! She told us to go to the Purgatorium to stop the rituals. But we don't have any way of getting deeper inside. Elena must be aware of that. She knows exactly how to get inside. She has to. I'm sure of it. Don't you understand? You heard what they'll do to Sarah! Are you just going to give up on her? On Roke itself? That's not what I'm saying! You may as well be! If you were the Edge I knew... You wouldn't have even hesitated. Ever since we met on Eos, and then on Lemuris, and on Cardianon, you never took your eyes off your goal or let anything scare you. You always moved forward. That's the whole reason I wanted to come with Me? you! Me?! 
I'm the guy that got Earth destroyed just because I didn't think things through. I think about that happening again and I get so scared, I get so freaked out I can't even move. But what about Raimi? You fought for her when she was in trouble. Damn right I did. But that's not going to make this fear go away. Both of you, stop it! <clears throat> Let me ask you one thing. You're not giving up on Sarah, are you? Of course not. FaZe, I understand your concern for our friends, but you too have to understand, our leader is Edge. Fine. Wow. Ray Ray. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Selena, thank goodness. Uh, how long was I unconscious? It's already morning. That long. I must be getting old. What happened, girl? We were discussing how to get deeper inside the Purgatorium, and, uh, there was a difference of opinion. I see. That was careless of me. If I had given this to you earlier, you could have avoided that. What? Is this a keycard? How could a civilization like this possibly possess keycards? Without that lamp of guidance, you won't be able to get very far into the Purgatorium. There's no other way, and if you had tried to force your way in, you might have gotten Sarah killed. It looks like you made the right call, Edge. Yeah. <sighs> Where did you get the keycard? I mean, Lamp of Guidance. It was given to me by someone who claimed to carry the blood of the Mua. Now go, and please, save Sarah. Very well, let's go. Wait, you there, Alley Cat. What do they call you? Miracle? Ugh. Well, what? You want to burst even more of my bubbles? Come see me when this is over and tell me of your holy maiden. Next time I will not make light of her. M maybe if I feel like it. And I'm no alley cat, you hear? Stripling, I don't know what it is that frightens you, and neither do I care. But I will say this, stop being so full of yourself. It's ridiculous. What? <gasps> the star ocean is endless, the world vast beyond knowing. If you presume to think you can carry it all yourself, you're a fool. It is the stars themselves that decide between prosperity and destruction. All is fate. But... Or, are you so arrogant as to believe you can manipulate fate itself? Don't be so presumptuous, you idiot. 
No, I don't... What you are capable of doing and the influence you wield is limited. Yes, something you trigger might eventually swell into an enormous wave, enveloping everything. The very fate of a world might even be swayed. But your actions alone are not enough. A great many factors conspire to bring a world's fate to its ultimate conclusion. Miss Elena... Fret. Fear. Weep. But do not stop. Leave pride by the wayside. Move forward with every fiber of your being, and you will begin to discover what you are capable of. Insignificant as you are, you will discover something that only you can do. That is the path you must walk. Was that... inaugurate too? Just advice from a pretentious fortune teller. In any case, you have this girl with you, don't you? Huh? You, you mean me? I'm sure you have faced incredible pain and hardship. But the Mua inside you is there for a reason. The Mua... inside me? Stay with this stripling, you who were born under the Mua's divine protection, child of hope. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Phase. I think I'm ready to start moving forward again. Just give me a little more time. I promise the edge you first met is coming back. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> I can't believe that took all night. If we're going, let's hurry up and get moving. Y you're... what are you doing here? I told you I had business on this planet, didn't I? Well, look at that. It would seem we even share the same goal now. Halting the resurrection of the Archfiend Asmodeus. That is the mission I was given as Amorphous. So you are Amorphous too. I've heard plenty of stories about you, Bacchus. It's an honor to meet you, I suppose. I don't believe I've introduced myself to the rest of you yet. I'm Muria Dionysus. I remember some of you from Cardianon. You're that woman from... What are you doing here on Roke? I'd like to know myself. That business with the Cardianon, and now Roke. Why are you people always at the center of things? I suppose it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll be joining you. Wait, who said you could... Do you... still want to kill him? Of course, boy. And don't worry. I'll be staying right with you, until I do. What's she talking about, Edge? Oh, it's simple enough. She's coming with us because she wants to kill Crow. What? Don't worry. I won't let her. I'll make her understand. Well then, shall we?
all by myself. Two.
how it's done! I cannot lose to you forever, Edge!
Distribution of the remedy cannot be stopped. There is no more point in spreading the stone sickness. It is clear infidels motivated by money are of little use, yet the hour is nigh. Asmodeus' resurrection is only a matter of time. How I yearn to hear the White Maiden's cry of death. For it is her soul that will stir Asmodeus to wake. White Maiden? That can only be Sarah. And if they're still yearning, that must mean she's still alive. <gasps> What's that shabby rag? This? It's what those black-cloaked hermits wear. This belonged to the one I offered up to Asmodeus just this morning. <sighs> The Archfiend will walk a path open by their blood. The least I can do is allow their worldly possessions to bask in his magnificence. What is it, Faze? You are a man of admirable compassion. The lives of their entire tribe are inferior to that of the White Maiden. Compassion? No, I only do what anyone would have done. At dawn, the Black Hermit's souls openeth the door. At dusk, the White Maiden's soul calleth him forth. O oh, Asmodeus, most exalted, exalted Archfiend! Oh, who's there? What have you... What have you done? What did you do to those people? FaZe! I'm asking you what you did! <laughs> we offer our souls to Asmodeus! Receive the souls of your faithful servants! What? <sighs> what the hell, FaZe? Edge, these were the men that spread the stone sickness throughout Rook. It looks like they were doing it to try and foster unease among the people. What cowards! But more importantly, the resurrection ritual has already begun! What? We must hurry. There's no time. We'll do. I'll go get everyone together.
I have verified her breathing. Thank goodness, we made it in time. It's Sari. I was so scared. I thought she might be dead. Conscience would come calling if we let her die, wouldn't it? <sighs> Welcome to this place, my friends. You were in Trop. Hmm? Have we met somewhere before then? If that is indeed the case, then what a truly delightful occurrence this is. You must have been brought here by our humble efforts to make Asmodeus's magnificence known throughout the land. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Come, and let us offer our prayers to Asmodeus. We shall witness his resurrection together. And together, we shall be destroyed so that a new world may be born. We are not here to worship Asmodeus. We are here to get our friend. Friend? Ah, you must mean the lovely young feather folk. You are free to worship whatever god Whatever archfiend you please, but only after you've righted your wrongs. I must confess, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. We're already aware that you were deliberately spreading the stone sickness in order to foment unrest. Hmm. But I ask you, where exactly is the sin in that? What? The world is slowly but surely heading on the path to destruction. Our activities merely serve to help it along toward its ultimate destiny. Your friend shall have the honor of becoming that world's cornerstone. Why will you, her friend, not rejoice in the honor she has been granted? I do not understand you. Nonsense! The destruction of the world? Give me a break! That's not what Sarah wants! My, my. You speak foolishness, my son. That is exactly what she wants. I know it to be true. Yes, I know very well. <laughs> Even if she may not, I know. Mr. Edge, what is this man? What is this creature that stands before us? Taking this form allowed me to truly understand. The appetite of human beings is insatiable. Humans are never satisfied with what they have for very long. They endlessly seek new and exotic pleasures. But the reality of this world is not conducive to supporting such an appetite. It has limits, you know. Thus, you see, I am unsatisfied. Land, glory, money, no matter how much I acquire. I'm afraid I've completely exhausted the world's resources of such things. But still, I want more, more, more. Yes, even if my mortal body should decay and burn. Now you see just how insatiable the human appetite really is. You bastard. You miserable bastard. You'd kill Sarah for something so stupid? Everyone who lives on this planet? Your entire world?! Uh, so, this is Edge's power. The power of the Muwa, I think. Such heat. Right. It's so beautiful. People, it's time! Edge! I may be insignificant, but now I've found something I'm capable of, and I'm going to see it through! Rogue doesn't want this kind of death. We're stopping this resurrection, and we're getting Sarah back! Yes! 
very well. For the sake of a glorious new world, I bestow upon thee destruction. I was not worthy enough. My greed prevented your resurrection. But uh, I beseech you, almighty Archfiend, bring to these people their destruction and bless them in your beautiful new world. What did that man truly want? I really have no idea, but he stayed a zealot to his god until the very end. Almost like... Sarah. them some tea, but then... Yes, that's right. They took me away somewhere. Goodness gracious, I wasn't expecting that at all. <sighs> You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. I was asleep, so I'm not quite certain what happened next. But it seems that you've all come down here to rescue me? I'm so grateful for your help. I really can't thank you enough. Hmm? What, 
What? I take it you had a chance to talk to Miss Elena, huh? You look just a little better, you know? Yes, yes, I'm so glad. Sarah... I... I... Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. I know. I didn't... screw up this time. You... and Rook... are alive. Be there in a moment! <laughs> oh, and by the way, there was nothing over here. Nothing. At all. Yeah. <laughs> 
Feels like so long since I've seen the sky. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, there's something that I need to tell everyone. I have to head back to Trop and let Miss Elena know that Mr. Asmodeus wasn't resurrected after all. Thank you all so much for everything you've done for me. Well then, see you later! She just left us. Sari! That was a little anticlimactic. I guess it is just like her, but yeah, I'll miss her. And Elena, she really helped us out. Didn't she? Yeah. You know, I always hated myself for being different. I couldn't stand what had been done to me. I don't feel like I'm totally past it yet. But... I do feel a little more comfortable with myself now. Elena's encouragement definitely helped, but more than anything else, it was because the light from your crest was so warm. My... crest... Just be the edge you've always been, always moving forward. As long as you can do that, I know your crest will keep on shining forever. And I'll stand with you in that light, and keep on shining myself. You and me. Forever. Yeah. What's wrong, please? Hmm? Uh? Is 
something the matter, Limmel? Baze, there's something weird with you, Kay. It's your imagination. What was that? A message from Welch. Return to the Kalnus immediately. Did something happen? I don't know. Let's get moving.
Lynn says this is how she always is. Sorry, Welch, but do you think you can get to the point? Oh, right. I got a little carried away there, huh? <clears throat> you have new orders from USTA headquarters. From HQ? Captain Edge Maverick, along with all SRF-003 Kalmus crew, are to report to Planet Eos immediately. Planet Eos, immediately? What for? Eos? But I thought Captain Grafton was doing exploration work with the Eldarians there. Our communications with the exploration base were cut off with no warning. Comms are down? 
Earth has been trying to get through to them, but there's been no response. That's odd. What's the reaction from Eldar? Well... As of now, nobody's been able to contact Eldar either. Eldar too? That's where you guys come in. Investigate what's happening on Eos and report back to headquarters ASAP. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Welch. Hey, don't even mention it, kid. See ya! Oh, and by the way, looks like maintenance is all finished. What are we going to do? The obvious, of course. We're going to follow orders. Besides, I'm worried about what's happened on Eos, too. Yes, I'm concerned about my Eldarian brethren as well. Sounds pretty bad. Yes, Eos is a little dangerous. Hmm? What is it? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. It's just... I feel like there's something different about you. Lemos said the same thing earlier. It's just your imagination. How long are you going to keep wearing that face? <sighs> you still think it looks bad on me? Yeah. Well, that just gives me another reason to wear it. I suppose I'll have to keep it on until I can convince you it looks good. <gasps> the Countess will depart for Eos as soon as preparations are complete. <laughs> 